Hey guys, Katrina here, the Zebra Wheelie. Welcome back to my channel. Well, you join me outside the Lisbon Linen Museum. This is only a small museum that's outside of Belfast. It's about uh, 10, 11 miles outside of Belfast. So not really far from me. I've never been here before, so I'm really, really excited to see what they have in here. I didn't even know that this place existed until the other day. And this time I've bought GoPro cam along so that you can see my point of view in the museum. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about that. You're okay. Do I need a ticket to enter here? Or? No, you don't. You don't. Are you just go down the museum? Yes. Oh, yeah. No problem. Well, I'll show you here what there is around here. 40 years here of collections just around here. You're very welcome to have a look. And just stand here as well. And there is a look to take you downstairs. The staff here are very helpful. And they explained all of the disability access features in the building once I entered, which was brilliant. Uh, more places should be like this really. A bit of history behind the uh, museum's building. And behind it is these two statues. Uh, uh, the sign below the uh, her statue says an early 18th century linen draper examines cloth which the hand loom weavers brought for sale at the market house. And here is a hand loom weaver beside a spinning wheel. A ship called the Industry. The Industry worked on the lagging navigation in the 1920s carrying material up and down the river to various factories including Lambeg, Bleaching, uh, Dying and Finishing Company. Some more metals from World War I. They're reproductions and they were awarded to Reverend David Corky. Um, for his wartime service, Reverend Corky was awarded a 1914-15 star uh, war medal and victory medal. The oak leaf emblem denotes the fact that Corky was mentioned in dispatches and beside it there's a certificate that he got uh, from Parliament saying that he was mentioned in dispatches. This is a Lambeg drum. Um, these are still to this day featured in uh, Orange Order parades. I managed to film the uh, last year's 12th of July and they had one of these in the parade. This is actually made of goat skin and it's made locally in, in a town called Lambeg which is very near here. This is a bike that was owned by Royal Mail. Uh, I don't think they use these now. I might be wrong but uh, I haven't seen any postmen using these. They mostly just drive around in vans now. In this case here is the 1662 Charter of Lisburn. This is a mace which was carried by the Lisburn Silver Band. It was donated in 2018. Uh, police notice from 1970. It mentions uh, terrorist activity. Uh, I'm guessing that was the IRA. And beside it there is uh, Ulster Defenders, a friendly warm warning, a cobbler's wheel for me and shoes. There's one of the few remaining original Coke bottles. It still has Coca-Cola in it. I wouldn't fancy drinking that, Ew. especially now. But uh, Coca-Cola have a factory nearby in the town of Lambeg, the same place where that uh, drum was made. A passport issued to Walter Stork. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, who settled in Lisburn. He was 
an Austrian Jew from Vienna who travelled from Vienna to Ireland in August 1939. This is an exhibit about the uh, town cenotaph in Market Square in Lisbon. Peace Day in 1919. There's a copy of the Peace Treaty. An MCO uh, army tunic from World War I. side of the big block of chocolate. I'm sure they were glad to get that. I had to use this stair lift to access the lower floor where they had more linen displayed. All the linen textiles and uh, modern designs. There's some of the tools that the artist used to make them, as well as the raw linen cloth. So the parking is right outside and it's on street parking only, but it's a marked disabled bay, so it's really, really handy. The door's literally right there, and as you can see, I parked in the bay right outside it. I give the Irish Linen Centre Lisburn Museum a 9 out of 10 for disability access, but that's uh, only because of the on-street only parking, but that can't be helped. But it is a lovely building, and if you're in Northern Ireland, you should definitely come and see this. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I know it's only a small museum and they, they only had a few exhibits open because of social distancing measures, but it was still nice to see something different anyway. I will this week be going to the Ulster Folk and Transport Museum and I will be going this time by hook or by crook. So if you would like to see more content like that, please uh, subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell as YouTube does not notify you when I upload a video unless you hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.